Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how you can upload a product with specific features, related products, and with different combinations. We will also import and customize a product page template to fit into the design of your existing shop. Then I will show you how you can style these extra product information with related products. Okay, let's go to the dashboard. On the Catalog Products tab, add a new product. Enter your product name. Upload images of it. By default, the first image you upload will be the cover image, but you can't change this at any time. For summary, enter a short description of your product. For description, you can write a longer one. You can't set different features. It is worth setting them up because it makes it easier for customers to compare. You can't specify the brand of your product. And here you can enter related products. It's worth selecting them because it can increase the value of your shopping cart. In marketing terms, this is called cross-selling. Tick which category your product belongs to. Select tax rule and enter a price. This is the place for the article number. If you tick product with combinations, a combinations tab will appear in the second place. Here you can select the different attributes of your product. Let's generate the different combinations. Here you can enter additional information about this product variation. Enter the available quantities and set an image for each variation, just like I did. At the bottom of the page you'll find further settings related to stocks. But for now let's scroll up and see the other tabs. Here you will find the settings for shipping. You can use this tab to discount your products or add the cost price. On this tab you can improve your ranking and how your product page will appear in search engines results. And as you see additional options. Okay, once you're done with the settings, get your product online and save it. Now head over to Creative Elements Theme Builder to create a product page. Add a new template. Name it. And from the types, select the product page. Go to the editor. When editing your product page, you can choose from different ready-made designs or build it from scratch. You can watch a tutorial video on how to do this by clicking on the top right corner. I'm going to go with the first one for now, but feel free to choose a different one if it fits your product better. Just like my other pages, I'm setting this one to full width. In this template a product images widget is used. Since I only have one product image per variation, I will replace it with the product image widget. Let's look at the right side. Here are several dynamic widgets. Using them, the product information is automatically displayed. You just need to customize them to best fit the design of the rest of your site.
If your product doesn't have a rating yet, you can't hide the stars. I will edit the product variation section to look like the one in quick view. You can also watch the video on this if you like. See the link in the top right corner. I will also adapt the Add to Cart button to the other buttons on the page. The height of the product quantity has been lowered a bit, to line up with the button. I am doing the same with the Add to Wishlist widget. OK, the next section shows more product information. You can also customize these in moments. Here is the logo of the product brand. This is where the downloadable documents would appear, such as an instruction manual. Since I have not uploaded any, I will delete this widget. You can't display multiple images, but as I only have one at the moment, I'll delete that too. I'm adding another column to create a more aesthetic layout. I drag the product meta widget over to the middle column and customize it. I also drag a product features widget underneath. I simply copy and paste the style. I set the width of the image to default. I select a different image size. In contrast, I reduce the size of the logo. Finally, I place the entire contents of the inner section in the middle. Here will be the reviews. And here you can enter shipping information, or you can delete it, as I will do with the custom tab. This section is where the related products are displayed using a product carousel. Since we already have one of these on the home page, we'll simply copy its style. We make a few changes on the content tab, and the carousel will look like the home page. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's look at it on tablet. Nice! Let's see it on mobile. Looks great! Let's save it and go back to the back office. Let's activate our new product page. 
don't forget to select it in theme settings. After save, let's check it out in our shop. Very good. As you can see, this is how quickly and easily you can present your products with different product variations, extra information, like delivery, reviews, additional information, description, and on the bottom, related products. Goodbye.